welcome to Tintern Abbey. Happy Easter, everyone. Um, Easter is a very important time of year in Ireland, in the history of Ireland. Um, it goes back to the Easter uprising in uh, 1916 and the height of the, uh, the First World War. On Easter, there was an uh, uprising in Dublin, and which started, really started the road towards the independence of Ireland, which came later after they executed the leaders of the, uh, the 1916 rebellion. Um, so today what I decided to do was to show you the beautiful walking areas and paths around Tintern Abbey. I'll tell you a bit of the history behind Tintern Abbey as well um, in full as we do the walk around. So it goes back to 1200. So it's a, it's a nice old place. So you, you come off the road. It's a, I'll put the link up here in uh, to show you how to get there and we'll explain to you so we're, we're going to we'll drive on ahead there's a car park up in, near the abbey itself and we're going to stop there and we'll walk around and it's very picturesque and it's a beautiful place where you can get to now you can also do the tour of the the abbey itself and the walled garden and that's uh five euros for an adult four for seniors and i think there's a family pass as well so but the, the walk itself you can walk around and that's all free so we're gonna get back in the car drive to the uh, car park area and we'll walk around so here's the car park and here's the abbey itself the abbey itself's in ruins it's a cistern monastery that was founded in the 1200s by william earl marshall pembroke um the abbey uh, it's all there's a sister um, or daughter house it's called uh, Tintern Major in Wales so this one is often referred to as uh, Tintern Dev Devoto um, in the 16th century the old abbey was granted to the Kolkov family and soon after the church was partially converted into living quarters and further adapted over the centuries so you can come here uh, just outside and you could spend a couple of hours walking through the abbey itself and uh, they have a tour and then there's a walled garden which is also part of you the entrance fee now we're going to walk around the, the paths of this whole abbey and there are some beautiful sites that you'll see once you follow with me um, you'll see the um the beautiful wood carvings, the benches, the streams that run through it. So here's the, the abbey itself. Like I said, it goes back to the 1200s. Now part of it's been restored. It's uh, run by the OPW. Um, so I think that the, the tour itself, you wouldn't be able to video record it. So I won't be able to, but yet you can take pictures. So here's the whole side of the abbey. You, you look at it, it's a, a massive building. So imagine this going back in the uh, 1200s. So you're looking uh, 800 years plus. Let's see what's up here. See if I can sneak a peek in here. It's all part of the tour. And then I'll walk around, we'll walk back down, we'll go around the other side, and then we'll start taking the walking path. So I'll show you the different choices. There's a nice little bridge over there that you come across. There's a nice round tower there. It's all been restored. You can tell the uh, it's new stone used to replicate what it used to be because obviously it was in ruins. There's a nice little round tower.
Oh, that could get in there. It's pretty cool. So walk around the rest of this building and then we'll head down the trail. I'll show you the, the different options you have. So if you're if you're coming in to do the tour, like I said, here's that's where the reception is. You go inside there, you pay your fiber, and it gives you access to the abbey and the route. So you just go in here and you pay the reception. If you want to go in and do the tour, like I said, I won't be doing the tour itself. We're going to walk around the, the park, but that's basically the Abbey itself. Hi, how are you? How are you? Yeah, so. Well, it's the tour. You can go in there and you do the tour and it allows you into the wall garden as well. I think it's like, I think the uh, tour of the castle or the Abbey itself is uh, fiber for an adult. But there's family pass in that. But uh, it's OPW, so they don't allow you to do the uh, videos inside. You can take pictures. But it's similar like when I did uh, Johnstown Castle. So here's where they explain you what the different paths are. You see there's bike stands here. Um, no horse riding is permitted. But it's a beautiful the tinter and the walkways. And then here is the different routes that you have. So right now we're right here. So there's a green route, a red route, an orange route, and a pink route. And that tells you the distances. And then here's the map of Wexford. And there you have. Oh, so we're right here, Tintern Abbey in the bottom. And there's Wexford Town. So we basically covered everything. There's only one left to do, and that's Hook Head, which I will be doing. Um, so make sure you comment below and tell me what other areas you want me to see. Once I get the hook out of the way, I've basically done all the areas in Wexford that I had wanted. But I'm open for other suggestions. And also while you're there, make sure you subscribe to my channel, please, and uh, hit the like button and the bell button to be notified of any coming videos. There's a nice little stream and a bridge walking around. So let me just grab Wael there and we'll uh, take him for a walk there around the place. Look at the mushroom sticking out of the tree. The arrow, little stools. Like I said, you're... They're making some sort of a train, it looks like, but there's always wood carvings all the way through it. So let's take a look at the sign there and let me get oriented and figure out which route we're going to take. And there's picnic benches here, and then there's Usually it's a little shop. I think they're opening up there now. Coffee shop. Okay, so there's a few different paths. Yeah, we'll go this way. Little picnic benches. And bird feeders. Some more up ahead. So you can bring your dog for a walk too. Just they ask you make sure you pick up after your dog. But it's beautifully well kept, see, and then there's picnic benches throughout. And then sometimes you have these pieces of wood that's been carved or used as benches as well. You can, you could sit there and lie down on this one. And look at the face that's in it too. There's another one there. Cool. That's interesting. 
Kids can come and play on these things and get out into nature. Even washrooms. Fair play, washroom breaks. Let's see what a washroom looks like in Tinter Abbey. Well, not too bad, eh? Does the job. Wouldn't expect that, though. Look at the uh, Fred Flintstone car. Although I think the uh, animals have been at it. Like I said, it's pretty neat the way they have it. There's all sorts of little routes to take. Uh, Oh, here we go. Look at this bridge. Look at this. It's beautiful. There's a little lake. Your man here. The story of William Marshall and Isabel de Clare. So I guess that's what these are representing. Isabel, born in 1172, the eldest child of Richard de Clare Strongbow and Aoife of Leinster. Okay, so you made a decision of which route to take. We're gonna walk this way. Here's, so if you want to come in, here's the schedule of it and what it costs, five euros admission. And here's the garden itself. So, let's keep going up here and here it gives you, you can also pay for an annual membership of 50 euros for a family. So basically gives you the blurb of what I was talking about at the beginning. Alrighty. Keep walking on this trail. Interesting. So I guess this is what was here. See inside it used to be a house, I guess.
very interesting. What? Yeah, this brought us back to the back part. So let's see where else. But that'll just bring us back to the other thing, won't it? Yeah. Let's take a look. We'll go back to the beginning here. We'll go to the left here. Morning. Lovely um, old mill in there. In there? Yeah. Oh yeah, I can see it. Geez, look at this. You have a place where you could sit around and look at the cars for the kids. Wow. It's like you have a performance here. You want to do any singing or no? That's insane. So yeah. We'll call across this way. So these are all to prevent people driving up it. There's an old mill. Remember the old mill I did on my Timon walk in Brownswood? So you can watch that video. It was one of my first ones. Look at the old mill. And it's right by the water. Very cool. Go this way. Dangerous. Here's what it looks like from the inside. Let's see if we can get around here. See the water come right up. There's an eagle watching out. Inside the old mill. Definitely worth the walk. Make our way to your side. This stream coming through. Very interesting. Yeah. I bought a treat. 
have an Easter egg? All right. <laughs> Have a piece. Show it on the camera. Oh, you broke it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I broke it. Oh, yeah. There we go. Here we go. Happy Easter. Okay. Chocolate's tasted. A little bit of energy. And we keep moving on the path. Took off that layer because. Even though it's a casual walk, you know, it's always good when you're hiking to have layers on you. You can always take it off, but if you don't have it, you can't put it on. Yes, this is a handy little walk to do. It's uh, about 30 minutes outside of Wexford Town. You know, this part of it is all free. Like I said, you could pay for the walled garden and the uh, tour. But you don't really need to necessarily do that. You don't, just the actual walk itself is free. Just like a lot of the other hikes I've done around Wexford and I showed you, you know, the Skeeter Park, the Fort Mountain, there's the uh, Ferry Carrig. You know, there's tons of them that you can look it up online for walking trails. You know, you can Ravens Point near Kirkwall Beach. That's another free one. And then if the weather's nice, you can always end it off with a jump into the uh, sea. Hi, morning. Mushroom. Yeah. Uh, for Easter and that I broke out my other hat so you see me wearing this one with all the little pins on it where once in a while I have a few hats I use I'm sure you've seen yourself over the uh, vlogs if you've watched any of my other vlogs I tend to always have a hat that one has pins from all over I've collected you know Ben Nevis and the Camino I didn't do any vlogs when I was doing the Camino. I was just getting started then. But I plan on redoing the Camino in a few years. Maybe four years from now. Do the full one from Saint Jean Pied de Port to uh, Santiago Compostela in Spain. That'll take about 35 days or so. Of walking about 20 kilometers, 25 kilometers a day. But it is a very peaceful walk. It is hard on the feet. <laughs> the old bod give you that. But you really, you really do enjoy it. You meet amazing people. And the accommodations are interesting. They're all, now you have, you can stay in hotels, um, pensions, which are like B&Bs or guest houses. Uh, but, a, you know, I prefer the, uh, the albergues, which is our like hostels. They're very economical. They range from like seven euros to about 12. Um, you know, and there's there's meals that are available along the Camino. Uh, you can have uh, what they call as uh, the menu del dia, or the, the day of the menu or peregrino menu. So usually that'll have a couple of courses with some wine for about 11 to 12, 13 euros. Um, you know, the beer and the wine are very cheap over there. Um, glass of wine uh, will cost you about a euro. And then uh, a beer will cost you usually about one euro sixty, roughly. So as you're walking during the day, you take uh, breaks, different breaks every, every hour or so. Rest your feet, have a little drink. At the beginning you have like the coffee and orange juice. The orange juice is amazing in Spain. 
and it's available at every place you stop and then once you get after walking about four hours or so usually you crack into having a glass of beer when you stop and then you make your way into your destination you're going to stop for the night usually i tend to weave around six six or seven in the morning and stop around one o'clock two o'clock in the afternoon that gives me time to explore the area i'm staying in do my wash usually you wash in the afternoon you don't wash in the morning you get up you just go and then you do your laundry you're very light packed you only keep two packs of uh like two t-shirts two pairs of pants a couple pairs of socks and that's it my backpack weighed with my all my gear my sleeping bag and everything under nine under nine uh, kilos because you are carrying everything with you it's a very peaceful walk here I'll be showing this adding music in the background for some of it maybe speed up and slow down some areas I'll play with the editing See a lot of people are out on the Sunday, Easter Sunday, going for a nice leisure walk in the woods. Good morning. Hello. Morning.
And here we're back to the, uh, the mill, but we're on the other side of the water this time. I have to be changing my battery soon. I'm at 27%. Oh, let's go see the eagle. See the eagle, and I'll switch over my battery. There's the little boat benches. Yep. Hello. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Good yourself. They're gone wild.